Real Talk with Skip and Pepsi, brought to you by Luxury Mar Products. Sitting here with my man Pep, my man, my mentor, my main man, and my man. One of listen, one of the original, the original. Let me start with that one of the original, <laughs> the guy who started it all. <laughs> Y'all want to know about it? We finna tell you about it. My man. Chestnut, Reginald Chestnut. How you doing, my man? Another Did I write my man? That's my the same man. man. What's up, people? Why is you out we die, baby? All, all the time. Me and Listen. you, we said it. Mm -hmm. You know it. And, <laughs> and also, me and Pep, the authors of Bound by and a Torn by Greed, yeah, the true right and the untold table. story of the Young Boys Incorporated. And my man, Nut, the author of The Making of a Thug, the beginning of YBI. So if you don't already have them books and you want to know about this shit, this shit that started it all, I'm not only talking about people in Detroit, I'm talking about cross country. Cross country. Mm -hmm. Listen, these are the guys who put everybody down. If you want to really know we about gave, it, listen gave, to we this. We gave them the blueprint. Blueprint, that's we set right. set the blueprint. You want to know about it. can't be caught. <laughs> you got to listen to this and you got to go out and get these books. So nut, it's the first time you done you done graced our presence. I mean, we done, you've, you've graced us with your presence. Right. I'm glad to be here too, brother. I'm glad, I'm glad to you're here, man. So I, I've been knowing you not, since I was a, a young, a young grasshopper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> knee high to a, knee high to this right here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I remember when man you used to be, you used to come out on Eight Mile with Wayne, right. with WW. That was your, that was your best friend yeah, back in the day. Friend, yeah, man. So tell us, uh, Nut. Some of the stories about man. First of all, take us all the way back to the beginning, nothing. Mm -hmm. To to how you first when you first got off into them streets and how you first started selling dope and how you brought them other guys in. Hold on, let me say this. Mm -hmm. Let me give a, a clear introduction. Again, you was the first one hustling, but then it became you. Y'all was like that once upon a time in America. Y'all was like the the original mafia. Uh, you had the two, uh, Lucky Luciano, Frank Costello, uh, Meyer Lansky, and Bugsy Siegel. Mm -hmm. And everybody said you was Bugsy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would agree on that. <laughs> you, you can bear witness to that. I can bear witness to that. You, you, was, you was the wild one. You was the wild child. And hold on, let me say this. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing when I hear them stories, man, because all my life, all I remember about you as being this smooth looking, mild mannered guy with this beautiful smile, always even temperament, man. Just a nice guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But always been taught, man, that boy ain't nothing to play with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, I was like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Yeah. I got that, I got that um, capability from Raymond Peoples, you know, yeah. Yeah. hanging out with Raymond. He, he had good personality. One day he'll, he'll seem happy and friendly, and, but once you go on his bad side, it's ugly. Mm. But let them know, man, about at the beginning, you understand, know when, you, when you, Wayne, Ballman, Chuck, first, because y'all was all, y'all was, like you said, like once upon a time in America. See, you know, I, I grew up in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I've watched y'all grow up in my eyes throughout my window. Used to walk up to Tossie, going go in that Wayne, <laughs> going to pick Wayne up from mm -hmm. his house on, on sure Tyler. You understand, know I used to see y'all, I stayed on the corner. I stayed Who on the corner. When you used to see him? I was Chestnut, Ballman. Chuck and Wayne, That's and then they be suited, and then walking up. Hold then, on, hold then on. I'm gonna cut you up. Explain though. You gotta explain these people because I suited and they suited is two definitions. What you mean they be suited? Oh no, they were suited in cousin suits with glass heel shoes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the thing was that I was seeing the four of them, you know, for a while, and all of a sudden it was just three. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, where's the other cat? Because I, at this point, I just knew him from being in school when I first moved over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I knew him from school, and then they all of a sudden never wasn't in school no more. And I see these four guys walking there. All of a sudden, it was just three. Four kids, right? Four kids. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They could have been older than 16. With, with, with actual suits on. Yeah. They go to the, and get tailored wearing suits well, and glasses and shoes. Well, I think yeah. tell you more about that. Yeah. Than, but yeah. my point is, is I'm that, trying to paint the clear yeah, my, picture. My point is, is that when I... When I seen them, I'm used to seeing the four, and all of a sudden it was three. 
And later on, I, I, later on, I learned that he went to jail, but he'll tell you all about that. Okay, like I said, it was four of us, right? We met up in school. We met up in uh, Winter Hawthorne Junior High School. Me, Wayne, Gladiator Ball, Wayne, the Gladiator School. It really Gladiator was. Gladiator School. Because Winter Hawthorne is the best school you could go to, to me. Mm -hmm. That's the best school I've been to. It's better than that. I went to McKenzie High School. The Junior High School, Winter Hawthorne is better than the high school, McKenzie. I went to Winter Hawthorne. It was us four, like I say. And so one day, we all hanging out over the Ron Clayhouse, me, Wayne, Ball, Man, and Chuck. And that's when I met Block. And make a long story short, Black took me on Monterey. And that's when I met the Joneses. Like Bush Jones, Lil Mo, Bay Bay, you know, the Bush Jones family. Yeah, Bay Bay is Bush brother, yeah, Lil Mo. Yeah, yeah, yeah Bay Bay is Bush Jones' brother. Lil Mo is his nephew. He got a sister um, named Lynette. And that's Lil Mo's mama. Okay. So, and, um, like I say, I was starting out over there. At this time, I'm the only one in the dope house. Today we call it Trap House. So I'm, sometimes I say Trap House. So we was in the trap, I was the first one in the trap house. Hustling in the yeah, trap house. Use, uh, use the term you used back then what it was. I know oh, okay. you like to use the, the new term. The new term. Well, the well, vernacular. Well, 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 the dope house. Yeah, let's take them we're back. The trap take them back. We, we, the we, 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 we was in the dope house. Okay, we was in the dope house. And uh, I was the first one in the dope house. And Wayne Bone Man and Chuck, they used to blackmail me, say, we could tell Miss Chestnut if um, if you don't bring no weed out the house. Really, Wayne was doing that. Mm. Bring your Wayne. And I said, okay, so the next thing I know, I see them sitting up in the house. Cause we did, at this time, we was on Monterey, and then we moved on to Wayne, the next street over. And then that's when Wayne, that's when Wayne Bone Man and Chuck just started, they were going over there. And me, Lil Mo, and Bebe, Boo John found we was on Monterey. And that's all. So they were with Walt Menifee then? So they were on, on the Wayne, they on were the Walt Menifee, right. Dave Menifee, you know, Stony Roney, mm -hmm. you know. But Stony Roney really with us on Monterey, but. Icky Ray, Icky Ray, to them the real yeah. truth, uh, uh, them are uh, uh, mentors. mentors right. Walk many feet, day many feet, walk many feet, you know. Now, These guys Icky older than you. They, they older than us. Yeah, yeah I met them later on in Mario when down, I came around. Right. So at this time, at this time I'm around yeah. about 15 in that area, about 15. The old, our, our mentors at this time, they were children too at this time. They, they were no grown up, like he said, they weren't, they weren't no adults. Uh, we weren't selling dope for uh, growing up. We were selling dope with minds like teenagers. They might have been 22, but they were still young too. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? So it ain't like somebody 35 half was out there, yeah. 45 years old, selling dope. No, we was all grew up together. Yeah, man. And we was all with friends. When you 21, 22 years old, you still a kid. Especially back in that era. You're yeah, more right. of a kid then than you are 22 year olds are now. Because you're not Thank exposed you. to different things. And it's a it's a known fact, man, that, that I don't want to get scientific, but I think they call it your frontal cortex. It's not developed. You, the shit you're doing at 17, man, you still think the same way when you're 20, 21 years old. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But would you agree that 21 in this time and time and age is a lot different from 21 then, as far as even being on the grown status? You know what I'm saying? Because now these kids learn so much so fast off yeah. the internet. They saying, do. But can I say something? Uh -huh. When we was 21, though, Oh, we were grown, but... We, man, we was taking care of family. But we had to learn a different way. We did. So right. our group, our circle of 19, 18, 17, 18, 19 year olds, like when I was 17, 18 years old, man, I was going cross country with yeah, you, right. you know what I'm saying? Partying California, and, and, at Vegas. Beverly Hills and yeah. Vegas, you know, all that type of stuff. So I agree with you in a certain extent yeah, that the average, like my peers, when, when they went away to college, Mm -hmm. I didn't go away to college. When they went away to college, they were still doing kid stuff, partying, buying kegs and all that type of stuff. But, man, when you step down into our college, down on Dexter and all over in that hard area, you college. down with the young boy. Hard knock college. That's right, hard knock college. Man, mm -hmm. we was grown men, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, we say give families at a young age. But anyways, yeah. this is telling us about, you know. And then, like I say, um, by me being young at that time, at this area of time, I was running away from home, being in dope houses. Like I said, I was on Monterey. Sometimes I'd be on, Mon on Monterdale. So Wayne and Bone, man, so we, we all in the neighborhood, like you said, we like, the, you know, us folks, like the Barry boys, you know. Like, like I said, the mob, Maya Lance. We run the neighborhood, jumping on people, you know, doing stick up. You know, we had be been crazy, doing thug stuff to the neighborhood. Yeah. So one day, I'm gonna like stay a long story short. 
I had caught my murder case and I went to jail. That's what he talking about. He's he seen four and then one went away. That was me. And that's when I went away on my murder. I went away from murder. How old was he now? I'm, I was 17. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was like, if I'm not mistaken, he was like, my mistake, you was one of the first ones that wavered as adults back then in that era. Yeah. Then they sent you to the county jail. Mm -hmm. At 17, they used to steal. No, 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 no. It, they had to change. I'm one of the first they changed it. To the law. To the law, you'd be 17. Okay. With a violent case. Right. You go to the prison. Yeah, you go to the prison. And now it's a murder case. So, murder so case. if you can, uh, excuse me. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, was it drug related? Did it have something to do with them boys? You know, the young boys, what it? Well, I would say it had something to do with me. The, the guy who I, who I murdered, uh, he was older than me. And uh, he was, you know, Raymond, you know, you know, he grew up with Raymond, he grew up with Block and, and Bush and that, right? So one day we on Monterey, he came over there talking shit. Y'all dope ain't shit, y'all ain't nobody, y'all, but he was playing with, but he was playing with Block and them, right? But I don't know this, I don't know him. He they friend. So I'm so me so him getting to argue. I said, man, who is you? You don't come around over here talking to us like that. You know, who who this guy? And so black man, leave it alone, not leave it alone. He all right. I said, no, don't nobody talk to us like that. Don't nobody talk to us like that. We've been doing shit. Don't nobody talk to us. I don't care who it is. I said, next time I see him, I'ma get him. It's about about two about, about two or three hours later I was thinking, and I got him. Right. And then Bush Young brother, baby, baby told on me. That's how I got the victim. So Bush brother. Told on. Yeah, yeah. Cause I did it by you know. Yeah, I got you. I got you. But really, I won't say that. I won't say that. I won't say that. Well, you said she said he better not. You better yeah, not well, she go was, to jail. Well, when I had called when I was in the county jail, I'm when I was in the precinct, and Miss Jones said, "Chestnut, Chestnut, get my baby had nothing to do with this. Get my baby out of trouble." But you know, that's the average mama gonna say that. Yeah. So what Pep saying is she she kind of planted the seed for. If, if your mom, like you say, the average mom would say something like that, but the average person, if shit, if my mom says it's okay to no, no, tell no. the truth or whatever, well, I'm going to go out and do it. Well, I wouldn't, because my mom, is not, <laughs> my mom <laughs> kid. I, when she asked me, did you do it? I said, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Right. Until after I got old, I thought I was going to trust my mama. You know, and that's, cause my mama, that's a good question. Cause my mother and my father asked me, boy, why did you go around the block as you did it? Why you been let them hide you up? Why you didn't come to us? I say, Mama and Daddy, y'all the last person I'm gonna tell. That's right. Yeah. I'm, I'm scared to tell y'all. Right. I come to y'all, I'm gonna get a whooping or whatever. That's whatever. Right. <laughs> you know what or, or you just don't want your mama to think. You know. Listen, when I first started selling dope, I didn't want my mama. I used to sneak shit in the house, man. I used to sneak uh, uh, jewelry and clothes. Right. That's the only thing yeah. I could buy. I, I'm, you know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm, I'm with you on that because yeah. I, I bought a microwave for my mom. Microwaves wasn't even. Just came out, yeah. and I, brought, I was wondering how I'm going to tell them. Right. I got a microwave for right. them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You so know, it, it's it, that I had level to lie of about that, you know, all that. Yeah, it's that level of respect. And that's another one since we talked about different generations and the times, man. We had a level of respect, man, for our parents and yeah. adults yeah. that yeah. you yeah. don't see today, man. Yeah. And she's like, but I got, I'm going to be honest, on that point, I had broke that rule. That's why I got shot. Cause I broke that rule. I went by Bush Jones' mama house. Bush mama, Bush, Bush um, would never came by my mama house. Mm. Cause other that respect we had, even in the game, we had that. Respect. But we gonna get into that. Cause I want okay. you to tell that whole story from but beginning. But I went, like I said, I had went away for my murder, and then I went away when I got out. When I was doing my time, Wayne came and seen me. Raymond came and seen me. Then when I got out, that's when I met Pell. You know. Mm -hmm. I met Pip. Oh, he was on Wayne's crew. Well, hold on. I met you. Went off. Okay. Matter of fact, let, matter of fact, I'm gonna let him tell you how how we met. Cause well, we I met him at Winter. When he first seen me, like when I first seen him at Winter You understand? He was already a thug. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking up to you know Chuck and all of them. I see him. You know what I'm saying? They running around. They don't go to school. They hanging outside the school when they should be in class. You know? They what look saying? like they have yeah, fun. Yeah. They walking up. You know, police on the motorcycles chasing them off. You know what I'm saying? So. We have these have little dances that went on, you know, on Fridays. Niggas always come to the dances. They don't come to school, but they'll be at the dances, you know what I'm saying? And that's when I really got to be close to Chestnut City, and I introduced myself to him, you know what I'm saying? He didn't see me around school, but no, you know what I'm saying? And he took a liking to me, you know what I'm saying? So we just started kicking it. Well, I wasn't into nothing. He started kicking it then. He kind of scared me when he went on the trip to 
with the uh, school where he didn't go on the trip. He snuck on the trip to the skating party. <laughs> you remember that piece? Yeah, I remember his name. Oh, go fuck. Hey, go he ahead, go just ahead. got disrespected. He's on the bus, man, and he, he, man, he beat him with a pair of skates, man. I never seen nothing like I'm a kid. And I'm like, this is the guy I want to hang around with? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? He but did some good dude, feeling shit. He beat him, man, so bad with the skates, man. It was unbelievable, man. I'm, I don't even know the, the boy, the boy, I, the boy, I know he didn't die because he probably be in jail, but the boy was messed up bad, man. You know what I'm saying? So at that point, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I don't know this type of guy I want to hang around. But you, but you but kept coming I back. I kept coming back, you know what I'm saying? And then, like I say, he went on and went to jail and all that. When he come home, now you go here. Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me introduce you. So when you come home, mm-hmm. Was Wayne and them selling dope by now? Okay, good. Was the young boys and they? Oh uh, yeah. What okay, year okay. did you come home? So when I when I came home, when I got locked up, we we, we neighborhood famous. Right. And then I did I did three years. I did about three and a half years. So what mother. year did you come home? About seventy nine, eighty in that area. Seventy nine, eighty, eighty in that area. Anyway, when I come home, when I'm doing my time, we already in the newspaper. Young boy, this young boy, all on the news, all the newspaper. So that's that, us making the news. That, that, that's still yeah. making the news. Now I'm locked up. But by them making the news, you know, being famous out there, that making me famous yeah. in prison because Raymond and Wayne and, and Black them come see me in prison. So the same guys come see me on prison to come visit me, they the same ones on the news. Right. So I'm getting my respect for the prison guards and other inmates in there because he one of them young boys. So when I, like I said, I did three and a half years. When I got out, Wayne had his crew. And Wayne, at this time, Wayne had got in power. Like me, Wayne Bone Man, and Chuck Wayne, I got in power. And, and at this time, Raymond's getting in power. When Wayne, at this time, Raymond. Explain how Wayne, how, how Raymond first got his side. So how Raymond got it, Raymond first side came from, from, from Chuck. That's how he got on to Chuck. Well, anyway, Raymond always been famous and a big, famous big fella through the neighborhood when he called the Living the Riot case. It was a riot on Living the Noise. The Living the Five on 1975 it was a riot on Living Noise. This um, bartender killed this little black little boy and started a riot in 1975. Raymond, Ray, it was living those five. Raymond, it was Raymond, Dennis Nancy, Buzzy. It was uh, uh, it was five of them. But anyway, they got locked up for this murder they had caught on during the riot. A, little, a white man got killed. But anyway, Raymond had three, three trials on that, and he beat the and he beat. Him. That's how he got famous. All I used to be one of the ones. Me and Timmy out. Right. Picket signs. Free to live North Side. Free to live North Side. I remember they came on Martindale and the, 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 we don't know where these people <laughs> came from. From the European, I call them European, but white. Oh, white. But white, they uh, white people came on Martindale. The young little Raymond people, you know them. We, we, they, we made some signs. Yeah, they we, we, we all made signs. We went all uh, at the park. West Russell Woods Park. Russell Woods Park. And in front of Frank Burton, Jesse Hart. They know the Frank. Timmy yeah. gave. Timmy, Timmy was on the speaker. Timmy, Timmy was on the speaker. Yeah. Phone at the park, and he was talking about, we was talking about everybody's friend. The signs are saying, free to live in North 5. Was Stop blaming black it. racists. <laughs> going around the courtroom, in the court building. Yeah. Free to live in North 5. Stop black racists. Okay. And Raymond, that's why Raymond loved us so much, because he's seen how we supported him on that. So like I said, Raymond, he got faith for that. Raymond was like know, Muhammad man. Ali. He was like Muhammad Ali. I was the with Timmy. That's why I was you know, doing it, because I knew Timmy from school. Right. Like, that's why Timmy was his friend, and Raymond was my friend. Right. But let me get back to how I met him, right? So I, I, when I get out, I get out, I met Wayne's crew. Not when I, you met me, when you first get back out. Yeah, no, I've been out. knowing him. But when I got out, when I seen him again, right, he would, I, this light skinned little guy, he was like, sitting up in there, sitting with Wayne, you know, with, with Mark Jones, uh, Shamrock, Brad, Brad, Black Red, Black Red, Black Red Steve. No, Steve wasn't there. He wasn't there, he no, wasn't Steve wasn't there. He wasn't? No. Yeah, matter of fact, he was. Steve yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, was. Steve, Steve was there. Yeah. Before he went to jail, but that's Right. He was there. Right. He was there. And, but, but something about him, he, because I know the word. Everybody, when I come down there, this first time I seen him, I've been knowing Brad, they, like I've been knowing, but they grown now. But not grown, they're, they're older, put it that yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> they so, doing grown man yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah, and so I see them down there, they laughing, doing, everybody doing their stuff, Brad, Sharon Rock, uh, 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 Wayne, laughing, doing they doing they doing. But he was just in the corner, really by himself. You know what I'm saying? He might smoking a joint or something. But he was uh, drinking a little um, Remy or something. But he was in the corner by himself, he was stopping down. I was just observing shit. Yeah, that's the thing. Man, he was looking at me like, he was looking at me like, they ain't nothing home, dang, that's nothing. And I said, I said, I was like, Wayne, 
I got to have him with me, man. Cause we all, we I all. Forget that. And I said, I got like, man, we got, I got to hang with me. <laughs> He's like, why you want? I got to be with him. What's wrong? I got to be him, man. I got to hang with me. Cause he, cause he kind of remind me when black, kind of remind me. I'm keep it real. He kind of remind me when black seen me, and black took me in. Right. And, and it was, it, it's the world you can't explain. You can just a person you can trust. Yeah. And so when I seen him, how he was different from every, how he was different for everybody Hold else. Hold thought. Let me, let me just mm -hmm. say this. And in that same breath he speak, Block tried to make me his son when I came on Martindale before nothing come on. He tried to make me his son, but Kenny, Kenny Wynn ended up being his son. Because Wayne pulled my coat and said, no, nah, you don't want to fuck with him. Uh, Wayne wanted me with him. Right. So mm -hmm. I went with Wayne. That's when nothing came, mm -hmm. nothing came home. Right. Come here, and, and I came home, and then I said, I met Pep. I had to have Pep with me. So, well, hold on. Let, let me say this. Mm -hmm. So, Let's go back though. When you came home, they was they was tell about how they was they were. You said you said when you was oh, in jail, y'all was already together. Neighborhood famous. Yes. But now you watching the stories, the young boys. News. This the known news. the news is in the paper. Y'all dominating the news. Right. So when you come home, they already entrenched. They and, rolling. And you, they rolling. Right. And so then I come home. Wayne's in power. Bush was not even part at the time. Wayne was in power, and and, and, and right. Raymond. You know, yeah. and Black still, Black really didn't say no really but drug, drug but Black, but Black was a godfather. Of yeah, Black, Black was just, Black really didn't say no, he was like, like I told, like I told you before, yeah. Black would wait, Black was, uh, he'd wait till we all get paid, man, you understand, it'd be 25 hours over to get paid, he'd come like scratching that little knob like this, yeah. yeah, man, give me 20 dollars. Let me get my Who's gonna already? tell Black no? Give me at the end of the day, I think on Friday when he get, I think he get through getting twenty dollars from all of them, he get about five, six hundred, and day. he ain't done nothing that day. Every day, you know, you know what I'm saying? You but told me that when I first but met I got to speak, but his profession was, he had a profession now. His profession was sticking up banks. He oh, go on okay. the bank, he tried to get me going to the bank a couple of times, but I didn't go. I, I know my, if I got caught, I know my daddy would do to me. <laughs> but he had Nathan, he had Nathan. Raymond, Raymond had a brother named Nathan Peter. Nathan Peter. And Nathan was really with Black before I was, but he was more like Black had to do everything, you know. And so Black had him going to the um, bank a couple of times, you know, stick, with, stick up with a fake note, stick the bank up. And so um, he, one day he tried to get me going to the bank. Just, I said, no, I'm not. I'm going to keep it real. I was going to do it. I was going to do it. We pulled up at that bank on Cortland when it first opened yeah, MVP, up. I think it was, and, yeah. we, and we pulled up at that bank. We had to know where off. And while I'm about to go in, I just I said no. If I get caught doing this, here, my daddy gonna whoop my motherfucking ass. That's so I said I stopped. I said no, man. I'm doing this back then. We played the beat. No, I'm not doing this, bitch. Take me, take me home, bitch. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and he whooped because we played the homies play back then, and we he took me home. But Block was like the godfather. He put, he put the fear in everybody because he how Black got famous. With his case, he, uh, he got in the newspaper. How he got famous through the courts and all that. Yeah. Uh, the media. Yeah. He had killed. He just said he had killed his people. Right. His mother, his uh, I mean, I take it back. His stepmother, his father, the nurse, and his, and uh, and the maid. Yeah. You know, and he, and he beat the kid. He had three cases too. Three hundred. He had three hundred. Just like Raymond had three hundred. Yeah. And so, that's how he beat his case. How he got famous. So we hanging out with the two famous people, all in Detroit, Michigan. Did you see Raymond and Black they, they with us? Two killers, man. Two that's, killers. That go back to what you said. Yeah. This guy, man, you done grew up hearing about them butchered his people. How you gonna tell him no, man? I ain't giving you no money. Right. No. But this I, is a mentor. I was too on Martin. But I go Martin every day. They gave my first mentor. That was my mentor. I, and he had a presence about himself. I, 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 I just couldn't. You know what? I seen the. I, I can understand. I didn't see it in. I didn't see the killer party. I that's just me. Can I tell you something? I, I I spoke with the actual judge who presided over the case, Judge Ropes, rest in peace. He same thing he told me. He said, you know how he had them hung juries? I said, how? He said the jury could not believe that boy did the murders. So he just they just couldn't believe that he committed these gruesome acts. So they he, he may not have done, but he was a cold blooded. Yes. But he's but, <laughs> but the jury, half of the jury seen in him some type of innocent, like you said, you right. seen in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, all right, I digress. Let's go back to the. Yeah, we did. To, yeah, go ahead. To now, now, now you home and you got hooked up with them. And, and, I, and I got with Pell, right? Then me and Pell started hanging out. So as time went on, me and Pell hanging, we get the beef. We, they get stop beefing with Bush Jones. 
Bush done came home. Bush done came home. My Bush was home before me. Right. But, but uh, I came home, Bush already there. The re I had an attitude problem with Bush because his brother told on me. Now with Pelt, <laughs> Pelt really, really, um, Bush kind of feared me and Pelt because how they, how, they, how she could go down the line. But yes, and I uh, he didn't fear me at all then at all, period. Yes, he, okay. Anyway. As, as, now you talking about when you first come home. I was, you know, as okay, you now, Okay, now, so when, I, when I first come home, then I got with Pelt. Like I'm saying, me and Pelt, I'm training, I, I hate to put you out there, Pelt, but I'm training Pelt how to be a professional killer. I'm just gonna keep it real. So we used to go to a vacant house. We used to go to a vacant house. I'm just saying, we used to go to a vacant house on Mondale. Man. We might go late at night. We go late at you night. You say your face when he just said. Go he ahead. Went, he wanted to tell the problem, tell the face. He came on your interview. On so Pell, we go there. We had a uh, on Mondale, a vacant house Whoa. on Mondale, and we go in the basement. I was teaching Pell how to shoot, and I said, Pell. At this time, Pell about six, sixteen half, I'm almost seventeen. Seven, yeah, seven. So I said, Pell. Hold the gun like this, well, hold like this, mm -hmm. and shoot. Well, two in the two in the chest, one, one in the head. head. <laughs> and he we, we, we had like a bottle or some cans. And, and I had him come because he's trying to he he came too far back. I said, go a little closer, pal. He come up. Remember I said, one in the head, two in the chest. He bah, bah, bah. And he but he, but he was so he was he always been kind of strong. We was young, but he, he jerked. I said, pal, do it right, hold it. And we step back and he'll do some more. We, we did that about. We try to do that about at least three days out of a month. I try to do that. But anyway, the beef came along. We beefing with Bush. Now I told her, I, I said, Pelt, like I said, Pelt could be me, Wayne. And you can have anybody else you want, but him being with me. So while Pelt hanging out with me, my mama loved me. Yeah, so Ms. every time Miss Chestnut loved it, Pelt. He, he had a way with the woman, even the old woman. Like yeah, this is. Well, this, 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 <laughs> and, this. and then my mama said, Hold on, hold on, let me tell you. Mm, yeah, yeah, you tell me. Now, mm -hmm. Miss Chestnut see me with nothing every day. Now she can hear about the beef with Wayne and Bush, and we in it. So I'm over there, she say, Pep, don't let nothing happen to my baby, please. Don't let nothing happen to my baby. I'm like, Miss Chestnut appointed me bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm committed. I, got, I, got, I can't let nothing happen to this nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, we, I, 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 I had my gun. I, I was by his side every day. But he still got hit. Mm. So, so you come home, you done got out with Wayne, the beef start. Right. How did you get here? How did it lead up to you getting shot? <laughs> what? You got to tell about that. <laughs> yeah, tell it all. Okay, here you go. This one was. I come home with an attitude anyway, because Baby told on me. I could have got natural life. I could have got natural life in prison because Baby I had a murder case. He told yeah. on me. I ain't think he would do well, anyway. He, so I come home with his attitude. And then Bush trying and Bush and Randall trying to squeeze Wayne. So he my best friend. So I got two excuses that, that go at these guys. Yeah. Right? Well I grew up with, I don't get it twisted. Bush John been Bush John. I looked up to Bush John. Okay, I can't believe myself I was born in Bush John, but I did. Mm -hmm. But anyway, they trying to squeeze Wayne. So they coming to me and my mama to tell Chestnut we had no beef with him against Wayne. Because Wayne is not setting on no product. That's what the basic was. He didn't want to say Wayne didn't want to give him that shit. He didn't, he didn't have to though. He didn't have to. That's his shit. He yeah. can sell who he wants to sell to. That's right. But anyway, they got mad at him and Raymond and Black got mad and, 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 and Bush got mad at him and he went through it. But anyway, the beef going on. We shooting at them. We going back and forth. We shooting at them. They shooting at us. But I got pelt with me. And but we got Brad now alone with us. We, we had Wayne crew with us now. But basically, me and Wayne, I mean him. Okay, because everybody was kind of scared of Bush. So anyway, uh, the beef going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. They caught me, make a long story short. They caught me. I tried to kidnap uh, Bush's sister, Lynette. Bush, she kind of like raised me when I was little, which I was wrong for trying to do that. His sister came out there, my house. me and Wayne tried to kidnap her. Why did you what, explain that? Why you wanted to kidnap me? We didn't yeah. want to kidnap just his sister, anybody that's come out the house. But the beef gets to be beefy. Oh, you know, have a net come out the house. Have your net. It could be anybody. It could be anybody. 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 Right. Anybody could be little. Mold, anybody. Pies, anybody. Right. Anybody could be okay. little. Anybody that the people that we looking for bush to just kill that. But no, I love the net. I didn't want to have the net. But anyway, me and Wayne, Wayne came and got me. We ran up looking. Then we going to moderate. Net come out the house. But my gun already out. And she said, "How you doing, now? What's your? How you doing, now? I said, "How you doing, Nick?" Get in the car. She looked at me like, "No, you gonna do this to me?" And it came, then it came, and my, my kid and my senses, kind of my knowledge. I'm the, what's wrong with me? I said, pull out Wayne, and we pull out. 
But when we pulled off and turned that corner, the Martin Richard Dexter, I said, I'm a dead man. I fucked up. Fucked up. I said, I fucked up. I already pulled a gun already. Before that, I already, before that, before that, uh, I already put a gun. Me and Wayne already called Bush behind the car wash. And I called checkmate. I, I put my gun out on Bush. I already called checkmate. I already on Bush. Then I did I the Bush kidnapping. You yeah. checkmate all the time? You see? And I, and Why I, didn't you kill Bush behind the car wash? The school is let out. The school is let out, and too many children was around. And they, when they came out, they see me and Bush. Children can I have a dollar. And Bush can I have a dollar. But children be when they come out. So they um. No, no car wash. To, oh wait, no. No, the, your car wash right there. Mr. Uh, uh, oh, Mr. Davis car wash. On Amherst and Dexter. Oh yeah, the, yeah, the Dexter. Yeah, yeah right, right next there. to Dexter. Well, uh, some hey, Wayne, you know, that, that was some of Wayne's I mean, people. Yeah, yeah, I know it. I know that car wash. Those Wayne's people. Yeah, right next to the Dexter Amherst. Right. Yeah. Crossing and so. When I put out, I'm standing next to him. I said, "Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa." And then, and then while we was talking, the children came up. That's when I pulled out. I'm, I said, "Then the children came." I said, "Yeah, Bush checkmate next time, checkmate." And that's when Wayne pulled up. Could be on Elmer. That's when Wayne pulled up in the bed. I jumped in. Cause Wayne waited for me to get shots, but he I didn't shoot. So Wayne, like, what's going on? So he pulled up. I jumped in. And then I told Bush, "Yeah, checkmate." Then I went and did that. About Lynette. But I didn't want to I didn't want to kidnap Lynette. No. I love Lynette. So y'all really declared war on Butch first then. Wayne. Did. Making them Wayne. moves. That's what I mean. Yeah. When I, I mean, say y'all, I, mean, I mean Wayne. I really never really looked at it. I was it Listen, that. man, if you Wayne, if you that cause Wayne they Wayne they basically they got mad at Wayne because he wouldn't give them some of they good they good. Yeah, that would basically well, yeah. they would yeah. it was sort of kinda like they that. started, but Wayne went initiated. He initiated the, the real killer. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying what he his intention was to get rid of. Him. Right. So it's like if me and you get into an argument right now. But like I and then hold on, tomorrow you I catch you at the gas station. I whip a heat out on you. Like hold on, man. Damn, we got into an argument because they we don't get along. But now this nigga want to kill me. So that's what I mean when I say y'all. No, let's see with Wayne. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what it was. Let me say this. Wayne, Wayne mouth got him in trouble. Let me say this. Let me say this. Now. Hold on. Mm -hmm. See, Wayne, it's just for nut come home. Raymond has slapped Wayne. Yeah, I forgot. On Martin Right, yeah, he did. So Wayne home. always had a problem with that. Mm -hmm. So when Butch came home, Wayne tried to recruit Butch, but it went wrong. Butch, you know, Butch looking at Wayne like, man, you know. Because when Butch got locked up, Wayne, a young, young kid. Boy, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, right. So when he come home now, Wayne living in Southfield, right. pool I'll, in the I'll, backyard, driving six point nine. I mean, ten miles in Greenfield. Yeah. You know, got a pool and all that. And when Bush came home, and I say, behind every great man is a good woman, and Dorothy was a good woman. She peeped things that Wayne didn't see. Yeah. When Bush came over there, Dorothy told him, "This man don't like you." What yeah. he was, this, 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 she peeping the little things he's saying about his clothes, you know, and all this, man, this, was, this man. sissy stuff, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Dorothy, all this, Dorothy yeah. told me that story. Shout yeah. out to Dorothy, that's yeah. my baby. Yeah, Dorothy, I love Dorothy. Dorothy, 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 it backfired on Bush when team up with him. Yeah. So when Nut come home, like you said, Bush came home before him. Nut come home, Nut, Wayne ain't the same idea. This is my motherfucking man. I know he'll ride and die. So he go get Nut. Yeah. But so instead of going at Ray, now we going at Butch. Yeah, That's what Wayne think. Yeah. yeah, I you know got what I'm saying? I got you. I got you. It's hard for him to tell Nut to go at Raymond. Right. Come on, man. Let's say the same thing. What would we do? We love Raymond, right? Can I ask you a question? This is going to hurt, man. If you had to choose who you love more between Raymond. Come on, don't do that to me, nut. And Wayne. Do who you, I got my own. Okay, don't say nothing. I'm going to tell Mindy. Come here. This is my problem. <laughs> if you had to pick between them two, between Raymond and Wayne, I know it's going to be hard, like hard for me. Mm -hmm. Who you had to pick who you love the most? Man, man, we love both of them, but we love them both. Yeah, I love both of them for real, man. Man, man, you put me on the spot with that, man. Listen, I love the shit out of Wayne, man, and, and I love Raymond, man. But just something about Baby Ray, man. I love. I, I mean, that's what he just said. 
What did I say? <laughs> I mean, it's just something about Raymond, man. Just, and people think I'm crazy. Man, how you gonna set up it for Wayne? But Raymond had a, a style, unique style, like Muhammad Ali. You had to like it. He was, he was, he was famous. It's just he, something about. I guess about. Wayne was. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the Wayne. Wanna Wayne be, man. It's like Muhammad Ali and Sugar Ray Leonard. The same style. Oh, okay. My, look, Wayne was like Sugar Ray Leonard. Had that same style, but mm. it was but it wasn't Muhammad Ali. Mm. Yeah, I got yeah. See, I, I, never, I never knew Raymond. Yeah. I, I met Raymond. I love baby Raymond. I never knew I love Wayne. Too. I heard a million stories about him. But yeah, Wayne. I, I got to say Raymond. WW too, was my. But it, 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 listen, listen, it's a slim march. Yeah, WW was my Muhammad Ali. You know what I'm saying? Right. He, he was a smooth nigga, man. It's just like him, man. He's the same between me and W. Yeah, right. But mine would be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See, yeah, mm-hmm. mine would be you because. You know, man, I, I but was everybody up, would think it would be that. It would be Wayne. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? So, but go ahead, man. You know, we go and fear it all. Yeah, but that's what this is all about, yeah, man. It's all we about having a conversation, real talk. man. We real talk. Like I said, like when Pell came in the pitch, <laughs> I'm going to pay him out there again. <laughs> hey, Pell, I ain't going to uh-huh. say no street. You remember? This, okay, this one, I, this one I cleared a beef over Bush. Over the phone. See, I'm on the read. You ain't telling you got shot. Oh, oh, the, the shooting part. Okay, back to that. And then I want to touch on something else. I'm trying to get around that. He put me out there. Yeah. You, me you out gotta there. tell it when you got shot. So I'm walking down the street. I'm, I'm, I'm walking down the You left off Amherst and Broad Street. I left. And I, was, I told you, man, wait for me. Don't yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was on Genie Boy House on Broad Street. I'm going to the store. Right, I say, uh, Pell said, let me go west now. I'm going to the nigga. You know that. I said, Pell, you don't got to go to the store. I'm just going right here to the pathway. That's the right across from Gene Hackman House, just right across the street, right? Yeah. I don't want to carry my gun because I'm on parole for my murder. So well, I'm that's why get, I'm going, because I get, I'm carrying. So right. I said, Pep, you be good. I'm just going to the store, right? And so I went to the store, but I went to another store down the street, down by Martindale. So I went to that store also. Miss Sellers. Miss Sellers. And I went to that store, I'm walking I'm on my way back, down from Bush New Creek. I said, what's up, nut? I said, what's it's up, all Bush? It's from the, from net, 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 from net, net, from net, net, from the net, net car wash, and the car wash. And, and he like, what's up, no? I said, what's up, Bush? Getting in the car? I said, what? You crazy? I said, man, all the minute people we put in the car, had a monitor in the basement. You think I'm gonna get in the car? You crazy? And after the bus, I said, what you crazy? And then he bust me out, boom, boom, boom. I make a long story short, they bust me out. I walked to Kim Wheeler House on Martindale. About six shots. Man. Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna get to you. What and then, to and then I went, and then I went to on Martindale. Kim Wheeler House, I was going with Kim. Yeah. I said, if I'm going to die, let me see my girlfriend. So I watched a long little, that's a nice little walk, ain't it? Yeah, nice walk. And I walked with all them bullets and bleed like a pig. Uh, uh, um, I hear the children, look, children house, children got shot, children got shot. It's all in the daytime. I got to say this, Skip, though. Mm-hmm. Soon he left the house, it wasn't, it wasn't even five minutes. Five minutes. We, I hear the gun shot. That's what I was going to get to. Okay, you tell yeah. me how you, mm-hmm. he telling what he got shot, he walked to, now you on the inside of the house, you yeah. hear the gun shot. I hear the gun shot. I'm like, oh shit, nut just left out. So I'm the first one out of the house. Jenny Boy had a side, a front door and a side door. I hit the side door, hit the fence. I hit Elmhurst, I hit Martindale. I'm looking, I see his feet hanging out the door, well, half his body hanging out of Miss Wheeler's house because he stayed like three houses off the corner. I done heard the shot and I'm looking for chestnut. So now he hanging out the door. I run in there. I drag him on all the way in the house. He all shot up. You understand? He laying there bleeding like a pig. He look at me like, Pep, man, I'm about to die. I said, man, don't say that shit to me. I no, no, you moved too fast. No, hold on. Well, I see no, my hand. Yeah, you yeah, see your finger. finger. That's what he said. When he yeah. seen his finger, <laughs> when he seen his finger hanging off, yeah, when I seen one that, of the bullets that. shot his finger almost off. Damn. When he seen his face, he said, Pep, I'm about to die, man. And I'm like, man, stop saying that shit. And I slapped him about four, five times. Like, pow, pow. And he came up out of it like, man, stop slapping me, Pep. I'm slapping the shit. I'm scared. Hey, he's very little bit too high for real, for real. Hey, I, was, I, I, was, I was getting one of them, uh, like, the defibrillator slaps. <laughs> trying to slap him back to life. You know what I'm saying? Slapping his heart. Shock, shock. Put some shock yeah. in his ass, right? And then, he, I, hey, he here right it, now talking to me, right? He was yeah. a big young nigga, too, <laughs> wasn't he? He was a big young nigga, too, wasn't he? He talking to us right now, right? Right. That nigga always say, you, you saved my life. He saved my life. He did. He did. But I'm like this here. 
I see it from like that, and I see my hand, I seen that finger, like a scary movie, a horror yeah, he movie. He take all the holes in his body. Yeah, ain't about all this shit here. I'm shot everywhere. I seen that, I said, oh, Bill, I'm gonna die, Bill, oh, Bill, I'm gonna die. I, I went out. I'm gonna slap this shit. Like, <laughs> he, 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 he faded, I just saw his face. I see that face, I'm gonna slap this shit. I'm over him, I'm over, I'm over, I'm over, I'm, I'm, I got my knees over his chest. I'm gonna strap on the knee. You know what I'm saying? I just start slapping. And then he come and back. Came up. Fuck this. Stop, him. Him. stop slapping. Because <laughs> when he woke up, I slapped him one more time. <laughs> now, hold on. Now, let me ask you this, man. Yeah, one more time. <laughs> no, I love you, man. <laughs> he rolled he roll with me. All through the beat, me, all through the beat, he rolled with me. Never left me. So, so I, I want to ask you this. You know how many times we shot at them? We don't well, hold on. Them. I want to oh, get to let me, This is what I want to get to. We went at the end. When you, when you take us back, I don't know if this happened before he got shot mm. or after. Pep, you started and you was there so you could jump in. You when I remember you told me years ago about this story. Y'all over Frankie house on, on Fullerton. Oh, you know where you go with this. Uh, and, and, and Big Boy and Mohar pull up. Yeah. You think you say y'all out there kicking it with Frankie. But we Frankie, ride, we all ride with Genie Boy. Right, yeah. and Frankie slid off in the house for no, a let minute. Me, let me let me let me stop you right go there. Go ahead. Frankie, see Frankie and Bone Man. They was always neutral in the beat. Rest in peace to both of them, man. Rest in peace to both of man. And, and are, Frankie. Yeah, and Frankie D. But Frankie was always like, man, y'all need to talk to the guy, man. You understand? Uh, y'all down here fighting the war, man, and Wayne up in the suburbs, man. Chilling, you know chilling. man. Yeah. And y'all the ones out here fighting the war. Frankie, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so we like, man, shh, Frankie, go on here with that. So we decided to stop by Frankie D this particular day. You know what I'm saying? And, we up up in the driveway. It's me, Nut, Jenny Boy, Brett, Fastine. You know what I'm saying? What did Fastine want to say? Yeah, It's yeah. five of us. Because we about to go to concert. We about to go to concert. Frankie and Bush ride on the porch. It's daylight. They talking to us, you know what I'm saying? We in Frankie's mama's house. Frankie sli slide off in the house. Ain't no big deal. It's his house. He go in the house. He come back out. Still kicking it with him. Next thing you know, a car pull up and block the driveway. Like, the fuck? Bush jump out with a bulletproof vest on and a pistol. Mohar got his bulletproof vest on and put his pistol on top of the hood. He driving and pointing at us. And they pull up. Bush come up there. Nothing on here. So when Bush come up, when Bush come up, he was like, uh, didn't that tell y'all the beef was on? Didn't that tell y'all the beef was on? But y'all still riding right away, still got y'all riding by my motherfucking mama house. What's up with that? But realize when I call the beef over, I gotta say this real quick. When I call the beef over over the phone, I see oh. Raymond. Raymond made me call the beef over. off. Call the beef off, right? Uh -huh. Call the beef off. So when he did, I call, I talked to Bush on the phone. He called, called it off, right? But we had no. I did not know. Listen, y'all shooting me yeah, and all that. Yeah. That was. Listen, I'm gonna take that on the chin. We gonna call this right off. beef off. Yeah, I'm not gonna come at you for right. shooting me. I made it. You understand? I was wrong for trying to. Like so this incident in the driveway, it happened after you got shot? Yeah, after. Oh, okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah good, good point. Yeah, okay, after. Go ahead. And so, uh, so he, like I said, he pulled up. He said, did not tell y'all the beef was over? But just, me, me and Pepsi, you know, I, this is the first time I've seen you. I, I called the beef off over the phone. So, uh, so he pulled up, and he pulled up. He did not tell y'all the beef over, huh? But Pep standing right next oh, to me. Oh, hold on, hold on, stop for one second. Mm. Now, y'all know you want to tell you this, but when he called oh, the beef, when, when he called the beef yeah. off, it was an incident before then. On Tuller and Fink. Okay. Go there, go there first. Yeah, because they go there. Yeah, right. Okay. The beef was off. I, mean, I told you the story. I you ain't know. never heard of Tuller and Fink. The party, Squeaky's party. Oh, yeah, go ahead. You got the Bushman right. pulled yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we, we might have been telling us. We don't know exactly what street. It was, it, it, we don't know exactly yeah, what street. Yeah, I don't know exactly what right. street. It was off okay. Fink. It's off Fink or something. Off Fink, right. right. But, anyways, they pulled up. We was out there talking to Ant, you know, in the driveway. Mm -hmm. It's nighttime. Brett and them didn't go to the party. They didn't say they wasn't going. They stayed on Cascade. Me and me and Chestnut go because it's my woman. At this time, I wasn't with Lisa. Lisa was at this point. I didn't even have my kids then. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we go on, uh, we go to the party. Cause my woman, she come home every summer and go down south to school. The mama sitting away at school. She went on Martindale. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You know, because an influence. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, we go to the party. Just me and Nut. We, we, well, we know I see her, we have a good time. We leave, we stand in the driveway near the front. We're in. Two cars come down the street slow, windows down. Shotgun, and, and we're hanging out one, hanging out the other. 
Annie, we don't, we see it, but we ain't really sure. Annie looked and she said, ah, Bush Jones. <laughs> she screamed down like this. Yeah. And Bush jumped out. They all, they both, all, they, like all eight doors just bust up because they four doors. They jumped out with guns like they ran right past nothing. and said, nut, this ain't for you. You and Pep, this ain't for y'all. Because he had already called the beef off. So, okay. Because Bretton was still riding around. Oh. Mama Jones house yeah, there. Right. Oh, okay. Behind my back. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, I got Way you. So now they they Bretton them back there. Cause you know they looking for them. So they go back there. Let me say this, man, and this going back to I know I keep saying this, but this is important to me so the, the viewers can hear this, man. The different in times and generations, mm -hmm. man. And I'ma say the reason I said this, one time, man, I told you, but you might have been with me when the police, Benny Napoleon, may he rest in peace. Remember we ran that Benny was talking about the young boy. He said, man. When we was at, uh, uh, Andiamo, Andiamo, downtown. Yeah. I, I know what you're about to say. And, and Benny, so Benny was, he was the Wayne County Sheriff when he died. You Benny see, used to be head of the gang Charlie squad. Duff died in that night. No, we was eating with Charlie. Eat Me and you was eating with Charlie right. Duff. And we ran into Benny. Mm -hmm. And Benny was talking about, Charlie was begging you to do, he wanted to do a move, a story on you. On me. About the young boy. Mm -hmm. And I remember he said, man, this is classic. The end. He kept saying, man, it's classic. We sit outside eating. Yeah, we sit outside eating, yeah, sit outside eating right off the Detroit River. The head of the young boys and the, the head and the top law enforcement agent in the in the state shaking hands and hugging. Please let me do the story. But Benny always said, listen, it used to be times, because he used to be head of the gang squad when y'all was at your height. He said, man, we used to sit around and pray for guys like the young boys to come back. Because the young boys was organized. He said, we dealing with disorganized crime now, nah, man. He said, at least it was a method to the young boys' madness. They so kept crying down to the yes. daddy crying down. We right. deployed everybody. What no such yeah. thing. When you just said two people, because I know some of the young guys, what picture go in their head when they see a car riding up the street with two shotguns out the window. Right now, that would been a drive-by. You, it had been 20 innocent people getting killed. Yeah. Wasn't no drive-bys back No, they then. jumped out. They yeah. went to go who they were to yeah. That's how we was taught, though. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was taught growing up by this guy here. A, month, a guy said he looking for me. You ain't got to look far, because I'm going to be at your house when you come home. If I know you stay, I'm going to get up under your car and your bushes. When, the wrong thing to say is give me the heads up saying you looking That's for right. me. That's right. Right. But you ain't shooting his mama house. Oh, no, 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 we no. Do that. We and to be with his mama, you ain't killing. No, 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 none of that. No. We had a rule. If we had an unwritten you rule. Come on, I walk down the street. We had yeah. an unwritten rule no, in the streets when we was growing up. It wasn't no handbook written down, but it's a book that we, our, our neighborhood. I don't know enough about no other Man, neighborhood. But, but y'all, but, but the young boys ran. But I'm gonna tell you, the, the, I the, 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 the young boys ran. Um, it w okay, let me explain this too, because you got to remember, man, people all over the country listening to this. Mm -hmm. We didn't have gangs in Detroit. Detroit we did. We had the Earl Fins that became for a, a minute. For a minute. From 78 to probably whenever. And they was we I got to let me correct you. Let me correct you. We had gangs even in the early 70s. See, you had the chain gangs. Yeah, in the Earl. No, listen. Bad, before the Earl but Fins from about BK. 79 right. on, on out. We did not have gangs. We didn't have, Detroit don't have generational gangs. No. You can't go to somebody and they say, my daddy was a blood or my granddaddy was a crip. Mm -hmm. That didn't happen. The young boys was not a gang. You understand what I'm saying? The young boys was a criminal organization. They tried to label as a gang. But it was not a gang, not a man. Gang. So it wasn't no drive-bys. Wasn't none of that type of shit. You understand what I'm saying? So just like you said, you was taught. I was taught. Right. Man, you don't do no fucking drive-bys. Man, you, you don't do shoot nobody in my house. If you do the statistics in the, the, the late 70s on into the 80s, it wasn't young people dying off drive-bys no. like it have been in the last two day, two or three decades. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No way. It, has, it wasn't nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, the young people that died in our era was in the game. They was in the game. They were in the game. Yeah. We didn't go shoot up people's houses with the they listen. The you know how many times I could have caught guys that I was in beef with at their mama's house? Of course. But that was off limits. Because if I do that, this is the rule. And anybody follow it would know. Or ain't gotta follow it. You could be an ordinary guy here. If a guy comes shoot up your mama's house, what you gonna do? Go Man, shoot his mama's house. That's right. But see, when you open that door, 
If you come to my mama's house and shoot my mama's house, now your cousin's house is is, is, is open open season. season. Your yo, grandmama's house. Yo, you you broke the auntie, you broke you, you broke, broke the rule. Broke. Now you, you now you made you, now you made it where you everybody is open season. That's right. It's just like the rule we had. And so hold on, what is that, Pep? That's disorganized, disorganized crime. crime. And this is another rule we had. My little brother, he has nothing to do with the gang. Nothing. He goes to school. My little sister has nothing to do with the gang. You see them walking through the store, you don't fuck with them. Yep. I see, I got beef with Skip. I see uh, young Skip walking, your, your, your son walking through the store. He's, 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 he's good. He's Not good. only is he good, you might say, Hey, what's up, nephew? Right, or uh, whatever. You know what I'm or saying? Whatever it may be. I might not say nothing to him at all, but he's not going to be harmed. He's, he's, he's right. not fair game. He's off limits. He's off limits. And, 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 and I can now, attest to Now, hold this. on. Let me say this Go again. Ahead. Now, if you stupid enough to put your son in the game. Then he fair game. You know what I'm saying? Then he fair game. He's in the beef. But if he's a civilian. A civilian? No, we didn't no, do that. See, no, nowadays, no. ain't no civilians with these people. They going to kill not, your man. baby. These young guys, they going to shoot up your grandmama. All that, and I, and I and I don't urge, I don't condone no young kid to do nothing, nothing wrong, wrong, man. But if you is going to do something wrong, if you are going to do something wrong, man, man, don't just listen to what we're saying, man. It ain't you. Why would you go and shoot up somebody? Mom? Man, you know how every day, man, we reading about somebody, two-year-olds getting killed. Actually didn't shoot. Yeah, because I got to be in the shoot. You, 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 you shooting up somebody's house, they ain't even there, and you know they ain't there. And you know they ain't there. You just want them to set up, make, make an example. Yeah, so... Again, yeah, I digress again. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's yeah, Let's go yeah, back. Yeah. So y'all in the driveway, man. So okay, we're in the driveway. <laughs> so when Bush came up, he like didn't nothing tell y'all to be what y'all didn't nothing tell y'all people so. But I had it. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. I got in his ear. I'm gonna keep it real. I went back 15 years when I was with Bush right then. I was like, Bush don't kill him. I was like Lil Mo used to do. I was like Bush don't. I knew he about to kill him in that van. I'm like Bush okay. don't kill him. The van, we, we, we talking about, we back no, on. No, we, we in Frankie on, D driveway. I'm we on Frankie, all, we I'm on Frankie we, D driveway. You know, we was in Jeannie Boy's mama car. We was in we the We wasn't in the orange van. We was in the, uh, the, oh, we was oh, in the oh. orange and white Grand Prix. We was in the van. No, no, we was not in no van. When you took the chain, Jeannie Boy was driving his mother's car. And it was Steve died. had the orange van, and that wasn't around until later on in the game. You know what I'm saying? Well, come on, man. Both of y'all senior citizens, man. So, you know, I know this for a fact. We was in the okay, we, yeah. we was in the county. I mean, so I you, might be wrong. So you boys from the big boy. I said, Bush, don't do it. Don't kill him, Bush. Don't kill him. But anyway, he he stuck them up. Make it long story short, he took all he took all the me and Pep outside the car. He took he took the chain off of Brett. No right or wrong. He, he took the chain off of Brett. And Who took, chain was? It, it, it was Wayne, it, it was, it my, was, chain. Chain it was Wayne my chain, it was my chain, Wayne gave to me, come on, friend. But Bush don't know that. He don't know all he knows. that chain right there in that picture that Wayne got on the long one with the yep. medallion. That one right there, that very long right one. There. I remember That's that the chain, one. With, it was a big gold coin with yeah, diamonds around yeah. it. I remember that chain. That's the chain he gave. He gave me that chain, but I came home from murder. Wayne gave me that chain, but Bush don't know that. I thought, yeah. When I was a young boy, Oh, no, 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 no,